I'm gonna try to take this old cobalt metalworking bit and make myself a woodworking spade bit that I need. This bit as is is 8.5 millimeter and I want to have my spade bit to be about 12 to 13 millimeter, around about a half an inch. Ironically or coincidentally, this is the exact same drill bit I used when I sharpened a drill bit using a piece of wood and an angle grinder. And I was lambasted by more than a few for that video. There are flat dies in my old guillotine tool here. I've never attempted anything like this before and I'm just going by what I think might work. And in the end, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I've got it on edge here to form the center point. I need to give a big shout out to Renee Freshwater and Mike Gedeon for their recent generous donations to the channel. Folks like you are helping to keep my brand of crazy videos rolling along. Thanks very much. Okay, there is way too much material for the point, but I'll just cut and grind that down. Measuring across the wings or the flanges or whatever those areas are called, it should be just wide enough. So creating the shoulders here which will form the cutting edges is crucial. I literally spent three minutes sharpening this. I put cutting angles on the center point but not on the shoulders. I just want to give it a go and see what happens. As is, it's slow, but it works, and it really makes a nice clean hole. After quickly improving the cutting edges, this should be perfect for what I need. So now I really want to sharpen the cutting edges, the flanges, the wings, or whatever. So very simply, I put a little bit of bevel on the back end. That is, as the bit rotates clockwise when it's cutting, the leading edges are flat and the bevels are on the back side. I'm thinking that in this way it should cut well. just flew right through this piece of wood. The holes are almost exactly 13 millimeters. Saved me a trip to the hardware store and saved me money. I'll catch you guys next time.